How's it going everyone? Blitzstorm here. So uh, I'm going to be doing some texturing today for an anime model that I'm working on and for the game that I'm also working on. So I've uh, already went ahead and I did uh, some skin textures. So I got a few different skins that will be able to be applied to the model uh, in 3D Studio Max and in the game. So they'll be able to pick what shade of skin that they wish for the character. But uh, something I've been working on right now is the eyes. And uh, how I did these is I uh, did them in paint. Uh, yeah, paint. Not uh, paint.net, just the regular paint. So I, uh, so I'll just uh, open it up and show you guys. So as you see, I have a few different models of the green eyes. So I got the plain, so just uh, with the disc going all the way out. So I just. Uh, did a couple circles I made sure that it was on this and this is a 256 by 256 so I just uh, made a circle of uh, the green so I chose the green that I liked uh, I had to customize them so I did that made a circle uh, and then I did another ring I'm not gonna save this I'm actually gonna delete that uh, then I chose a lighter shade and I did that for the second and then I did the same shade as the outside for the pupil here and uh, all I did for that is go white, did a circle, did a small circle inside with a different uh, size, and then for that one I went and chose the bigger size and did that. You can do them in different spots. Uh, as you can see here, I did uh, one on this side, one on the bottom, I did uh, one on the bottom here, one on the bottom. And for these ones, all I did was uh, I took the line tool and I just did a uh, kind of a teardrop. So, uh, so once you save it don't close this keep it open do all your eyes at once um i will be doing more eye styles later on but uh i'm just uh doing the shading and testing these ones that i've done uh so uh yeah just uh don't save and reopen save it keep it open and just uh undo throw the red in there next do the red paste from do the next one yellow and uh, just do them all at once. That way you don't have to uh, redo the whole lines, the circles. So what I'm going to talk about, because uh, I haven't really did a video on uh, paint.net, and I kind of uh, downloaded that one with you guys there. So uh, let's uh, get into that a little bit here. So uh, I'm going to be doing shaders. So what I did was I went and created my own shader here. How I did that was I went in... Uh, let's see if I still have it open. Yeah, I do. So I went in to paint with one of these so I hit edit it and all I did was I took uh, the black with the brush and I just uh, brushed kind of a loop there and I threw this in uh, paint.net here so I'm going to open it I'm not going to add a layer and then what I did was I just uh, used the magic wand here tolerance 50 and then if you hold curl uh, CTRL you can uh, delete that so now you got that but you don't want it as uh, dark because it will just black it out like this when you add on to the layer so if you go to this little uh, properties down here you can actually turn the shade to how you want it and I'm at 80 right now and then once you save it say you save it at 80 and uh, if you save it as a PNG, which is uh, what the, the other one is that I have in here saved as, you don't need to redo the properties. It will actually just go over. So uh, I'm not sure where, okay, there it is. I was making sure to erase it when I uh, brought it up. So um, yeah, so once you save it as a PNG, it won't flatten the map. It'll be like this and then you still have the uh, PNG file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, not save this. So once I made the shader there, all I have to do is <clears throat> say, oh, okay, I'm going to be doing this one next. So I'm just going to drag and drop this one in and open it. So it's going to be the background layer. So now this is my shader that I made. I'm just going to delete this one there. This is the one that we just made with the uh, 80%. So I'm going to add layer this time. And it's going to add it on and it's going to be as faded so it's 80 percent faded and that's going to give us the kind of the shadows under the eye i don't really want to show what i'm working on at the moment um because it's not done yet 
but uh, yeah, it will give this shadow. So I'm going to save this here. This is the left eye. I named them left for uh, left, R for right, uh, S for shaded. And uh, so I kept the normal one, and I'm saving the uh, additional ones after, just in case I want to go back and actually do some stuff on the original ones. Without the shade, I can. You always want to save backups. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, unclick this. So there we go. I'm going to now save this one as a JPEG. So I'm going to uh, go to where this is uh, saved, JPEG, and it's uh, blue for, and I'm going to actually put S for shaded, and that way I can keep the original one. And this is the left eye. Now I'm going to show you how to do the uh, flipping and making the right eye here, because there is a little trick to it. So I'm going to flatten it. Uh, so flatten. There we go. And now for the left eye, as you can see, the original is facing this way and like the original here and it's done. It's because when you put it in a 3D Studio Max, the way that I designed it is uh, I have to actually flip these to actually be the right way on the eyes. So I'm going to uh, go into edit for paint. I'm actually going to uh, flip it this way. I'm actually going to save it because this is the shaded and I'm actually going to then flip it this way and now this is the right eye and I'm going to save as and JPEG and I'm just going to put right for right and there you go you got both eyes you don't have to design them both in uh, paint here at the beginning you can just do one and then just flip it like this and save and there you go you got uh, both eyes there like I plan on doing hearts maybe or stars uh, two different eyes uh, cat eyes, vampire eyes, um, tons of different stuff like uh, white rings around, um, crazy eyes, uh, so like a serial stalker. Um, now I'm just going to be doing tons of these for today. Hey everyone, so uh, yeah I just uh, kind of went through and I finished and I moved uh, a couple like the uh, left to right like I was doing, but I actually have to redo the right uh, kind of. I just need to do one. So uh, what I mean is, so I'm going through these now, and I'm actually where it, the shader hit. I'm actually re-whitening the white. So this is going to be the next one here that I'm going to be uh, doing, I believe. Yeah, this is the one. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and just edit that. And what I'm doing is zooming in here, and to make sure I have the white selected. Make sure I have the biggest one selected for here. And I'm going to just uh, go ahead and uh, outline where this should go, like so. I'm going to do this right here too. Is that the right one? I think I actually might have the wrong size. No, that's the right size. It's all right if it goes a bit more over. Oops, that's uh, way too much. Let's, uh, go like that and uh, just fill in the gray here. Then uh, go ahead and shrink it back down. File, save it, file, save it. Oh, whoops. Uh, File, save as JPEG, and then I just need to uh, save this as the right side and replace it, yes. So uh, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment, just uh, re-whitening the parts that need to be re -white. And then uh, these eyes are going to be done, and that's uh, quite a bit of eyes. So this is one set right here, one set right here, one set right here. So on. So um, later on, uh, when I got more time, because this is taking up quite a bit of time to do all these, I'm actually going to do cat eyes, so like a black or a purple or maybe or something. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do. It. I got to look up some uh, references. So I'm going to do cat eyes, maybe some uh, hearts, maybe a mix. I'm also going to mix it up. So like for this mixed here. I'll be here, then one will be blue, or the outside might be brown, or something like uh, you know, those animes that have uh, two different eye sets. Uh, so, I'm gonna do something like that. I'm gonna do different other ones. I'm gonna do uh, maybe white rings, 
like I said uh, before, and just different things, maybe rainbowed. But uh, I plan on adding, there's going to be probably 250 different die sets that you'll be able to do in my game once it's uh, fully done, but not all at once. Once the game comes out, then it's going to be 60 at first, different die sets that you can choose from. And then every update or every uh, new, not expansion, every new episode, I guess you can say, will be uh, adding on maybe 10 different uh, eye textures. Same with hair. I'll have so many to choose from and then so many colors you can choose from. Same with these. I'm going to add more colors in so there will be more of a darker gray maybe or something like that. Maybe a more pinkish than this red. And uh, yeah, there's different shades also. And uh, yeah, every episode will be added on uh, new content, new uh, clothing, all that other good stuff. But uh, yeah, once I'm done this, I'll get started with the hair. So I'll uh, see you guys in a bit.